Good morning, welcome to Lilybrook. Another muddy nine holes in the winter. Uh, this is Sunday, March the 6th. I woke up yesterday morning, eventually logged on the computer, saw I'd gone through a thousand subscribers. So thank you all very much. Thank you to all the old ones and thank you to the new ones. We're on our way. Now, uh, those of you who don't know me that well, because you're new, my name is Simon. I play at Lilybrook Golf Club just outside of Cheltenham. It's 6,220 yards, par 69, with a scratch of 71. So this isn't an easy track. I got a lesson today at one o'clock in the studio in the clubhouse. So I'm just having a quick knock this morning. It's 8 a.m., it's three degrees, I'm layered up, so goodness knows what my golf swing will be like today. But we'll give it a go. We'll have a chat and a walk, shall we? Seeing as the score is probably going to be a bit miserable, we might as well talk a bit. Well, that's a dead straight one to start with. So it's, it's all downhill from here. And I've forgotten what I was gonna say. So we'll get down there and we'll, we'll carry on with the chat. Well, that's just made it onto the front of the green. Yeah, I made some reasonable scores at time in the winter when you've got a day like this where even though it's cold, there's no wind. But any winter score, you know, you've got to take with a pinch of salt. Take this hole, the ninth. The mat's 400 yards. The white tee is 467 par 4. Although to be fair, in the summer, I would hope to be driving this distance anyway. I'd hope to be getting down here four iron or five iron occasionally six iron into the green from the yellow tee occasionally as short as an eight iron but you know winter golf is winter golf it's cold it's muddy it was raining in fact it only stopped raining about 20 minutes ago one thing that worries me about winter golf sorry i'm just checking to see that no one's coming on the ninth tee while i'm yakking is um trees are bare, the ground is muddy and because I'm a club golfer and I'm playing my own course all the time through the winter, I don't have away days in the winter, then perhaps seeing the same golf course over and over again could be a little bit boring. But that is part of the issue that I have being a YouTuber and a club golfer. Didn't want to go there, that's for certain. The Cheltenham is in the, uh, it's in the Seven Valley, the River Seven. So this soil here is very heavy, it's very clay, gray clay, horrible stuff, which does mean it gets muddy in the winter. Lilybrook is not the worst course by a very long way. There are many others here in the valley which are considerably worse than what you can see here, mud-wise. You know, the water sits on top, instead of soaking in, it sits on top of the clay and the top two inches of soil, if you can call it soil, get very, very soft. Nothing we can do about it, but it does mean that in the summer, the fairways can bake hard and you get quite a bit of run on the ball. So 
swings and roundabouts really. I'm not looking forward to the second shot. Woo! What a shot. Flags way up the back today. We've had a lot of rain this past week, so they're putting the flags on sort of like the high point. Yeah, just under the hole. Got a par on. Oh! Oh boy! Oh, that's a shame. 10 is probably one of the most difficult greens on the golf course, as you would expect for a short par 4. It's three tiers and you've got to get your ball on the correct tier to have a chance. If you're putting down this hill, you've had it basically, so you don't go past the flag. Now just behind you is the practice ground. This has been used for soil landfill for about three years now. They're making a hell of a lot of money out of it. So it's paid for a clubhouse refurbishment. It's paid for every inch of the sprinkler system to be renewed, which was about 270 grand. They put a lot more drainage in the golf course, so it's drier than it has been in previous years. And they're doing a lot of the bunkers. Now they've done, they've done the bunkers on 11, our shortest par three, and they've relayed the front of the green the front of the green used to be very narrow and they wanted to widen it so they can get more pin positions, get a little bit more use out of the entire green. So at the moment we're on a temporary with a bucket hole and it's 92 yards from the mat. I find it hard to take this hole seriously at the moment. We're from the back tee it's 142 so it's a, it's a good eight iron, sometimes an easy seven. And I've forgotten that it's an east wind. My fingers are really cold. So I've come up short with my 50 degree. I also forget it's an east wind on the 18th as well, which makes it a bit harder. Well, 12 is arguably the hardest hole on the golf course. Throughout the season, I'd expect to average a bogey five, because we go along here and then we go steeply uphill. Now the white tee is about 80 yards behind us, so it's definitely a bogey five from there. From here, we can have a little bit of fun with the corner. Well, I start listening for a tree strike, but I don't hear a thing. In fact, it's one of the best drives I've hit up here. Always losing tea pegs off these mats. Oh, Simon. Well, that's the biggest drive I've hit here. I've, I've been just short of this road that's behind you. The first time I got over it. I made a mess of that. That's five shots from 92 yards. Oh, brother. So what are my plans for this year? First plan on a personal note, 
my handicap index is 5.4. I want to get it back the other side of 5.0. So I'm a five handicapper on this golf course. From a YouTube point of view, I want to do enough work this summer so I don't have to do too many videos in the winter in the mud, basically. Usually what you see is one month old. That's how I like to work. Get as many videos in the can as I can so that if the course closes for rain or snow, I've got something to fall back on. So this summer I'm going to be quite busy but I'm also going to be working a lot of Saturdays so I can go to Thailand again. You know, I've got to start saving me money after this next trip, assuming that I've passed my PCR test. So it looks like I've got an awful lot of work ahead of me. But we'll have some fun along the way, I hope. Well, that's only halfway up the hill. Hit it thin. Yes, I'm very cold and my fingers are very cold. Now, one of the hard things about Lilybrook is we've got 800 members here, so it's very busy and every tea time is used. So I don't get to see my mates much because to go around with the camera and my mates, you know, you can't record one guy on the left side of the fairway, ask the guy on the right side of the fairway to hang on five minutes, and then dash across and then go get the guy who's in the middle of the fairway. You just hold up the game. And with this gassing this morning, I've just been caught by a singleton behind. But he looks like a very good golfer because he's driven it on the green on 13. So uh, I'm going to stand aside, let him through and then prepare myself for the, uh, the walk up the north face of the Eiger really. Yeah, yakking definitely adds to the time it takes to record a video. Well, additionally to playing with me mates, my two sons are on the waiting list. And uh, hopefully they'll get in. So this year there could be plenty of characters on the channel. Oh, it's all going wrong now and hopefully playing better golf than I am. I quite like that one. Yay! One thing about me is I'm I'm very ordinary. I'm not an extrovert. This thing terrifies me, especially if there's other people around. Yeah, I'm just like you. You know, if you had to stand up and make a presentation at work, even in front of people you know, you know how terrified you would be of that. So uh, you get what you get with me. I'm just ordinary. I'm just like you. Yeah, par on here. Not bad for an old man. 